Hi. The topic of this article is Write an A plus interview paper using our tips and examples. Published on the handmadewriting.com website, the best in class essay writing service for college and university students. What is an interview paper? An interview paper provides an expert opinion on a specific issue. In essence, it is an interview transcript inserted somewhere between the introduction and conclusion of an academic piece. How long should it be? It depends on the topic and the length of your interview, but most papers are within the length of 2,000 to 5,000 words. What things should you consider before writing an interview paper in the first place? Let's check them out below. General aspects of writing an interview paper Academic papers require you to provide arguments based on studies, research pieces, statistics, etc. But an interview paper is different. For this type of essay, you will develop assumptions around an expert's opinion. Let's imagine your essay question reads the following, should we ban abortions? If you write an interview paper, you should ask someone high-powered for their consideration. Let them be an executive director of the American Gynecological and Obstetrical Society. You would reach them via email or phone or whatever communication channel you prefer and conduct an interview. Afterward, you would put all your findings on paper. But in practice, writing an interview paper involves many more complexities and challenges, like planning, topic research, drafting, etc. Let's speak straight facts, nobody will reschedule their week to meet you because you need to do some homework. You're one of the millions of students, and the local governor or a famous scientist won't give you an interview 9 times out of 10. So you would want to target someone less busy, like professors from other faculties of your college or some researchers within your academic environment. Hunting a bigger fish is pointless unless you're a well-established journalist working for a popular media channel. If you struggle to find someone within your college-slash-university, you can contact people from your circle. Writing outline and structure of an interview paper As you know, a typical paper consists of three parts. Introduction This part includes background information, the hook, the thesis statement, and the transition. Body It is the longest part of the paper consisting of several paragraphs. It should contain the actual interview. Conclusion The final part summarizes the considerations and insights of your essay. The question is, where should you put an interview transcript and how do you do this? To answer this question, you need to come up with the interview paper's format in the first place. There are several of them. Narrative The narrative format implies that you can use either direct or indirect speech when referring to your interviewee. If you choose this path, you can stick to a five-paragraph essay structure, retell the considerations of your interviewee, and cite their words here and there at your discretion. You can also choose this format if you contact several people. Check what a narrative interview paper structure looks like when you reach out to several people. Introduction Paragraph number one, the first interviewee's perspective. Paragraph number 2, the second interviewee's opinion. Paragraph number 3, the third interviewee's thoughts. Conclusion Alternatively, you can dedicate each paragraph to a particular idea of one person. Q&A, question and answer will suit your needs perfectly if you interview one person. It is the simplest format used in online magazines, news reports, and other media. Your interview paper outline will look like this. Introduction Question number one, answer number one, question number two, answer number two, question number three, answer number three, question number four slash five slash six slash etc. Answer number four slash five slash six slash etc. Interview analysis. You may include your thoughts on the subject matter. Conclusion. Conversational, conversational style is informal and you can use either first-person or second-person narrative and follow a typical five-paragraph paper structure. But writing interview papers in this lousy style might be perplexing, especially if you deal with this task for the first time. We advise you to try the Q&A format because it's the simplest one and takes the least time. Just imagine how much time your paper writing will take if you decide to interview three or five people. How to start an interview paper? If you have no idea how to start an interview paper, choose the topic first. Selecting a topic for your interview paper is not a big deal, but you should keep in mind that you may not find appropriate interviewees for it. 
Let's imagine you want to explore whether the government should force people to get vaccines. This topic implies that you need to contact authorities. It might be a local lawyer, governor, or executive director of a local hospital. Well, the chances are these people will politely refuse to give an interview for your homework. But if you choose to investigate how lockdown impacts intellectual workers, you can contact your friends or family members who work at home. In other words, it's better to choose topics that reflect the experiences of ordinary people rather than the opinions of untouchable experts. Asking people for their opinion about well-known facts like the Earth's shape is a bad idea. You would want to choose high-profile debatable topics you can actually discuss. Establish the goal of your interview essay. You have to establish the goal of your essay before researching the topic. For this, ask yourself, what message should your interview essay deliver? Sometimes, a topic of your choice might already explain the purpose of your essay. Conduct research. Interviewing someone implies that you should ask questions. But you will fail to do so if you know little to nothing about your topic. So read some case studies, news, articles, etc. Once you get the picture of your subject matter, you will come up with dozens of interview questions. Get to know your interviewee. A good interviewer always refers to the life and experience of their interviewee. If you're lucky to work with someone you can read about on the internet, find out as much information about them as possible. If your interviewee publishes any books, articles, or studies, you will better know them as well. The more you know about the person, the more interview questions you can come up with. You can ask them whether the internet tells their true story. Is it true that you, Mr. Interviewee, support flat earthers? Tips for conducting a successful interview. These four tips will help you conduct a productive interview on the first try. 1. Plan your meeting. Note that you want to interview a person in a quiet place so that nobody will distract you. This might be some cozy bookstore or a cafe. Or, you can arrange an online meeting. Make sure you have at least one hour for the interview. 2. Rehearse a bit. If you will conduct your first ever interview, you want to practice with your friends slash significant other slash family in the first place. This approach will help you identify what stage of your upcoming interview may challenge you the most. 3. Record your interview. You will forget about 50% of the information within an hour once you finish the interview. So don't rely on your memory minus bring a recorder instead. Why not take notes? You wouldn't want to go red while asking your interviewee to repeat what they have just said or wait until you write down their answers. 4. Talk to your interviewee for a while before you begin. Speaking to someone you don't know might be uncomfortable. You don't have to attack them with your interview questions straight away. Instead, you can exchange some casual phrases or discuss the weather. This will help you relieve stress and get comfortable with each other. 5. Explain your interview protocol. It's better to explain to your interviewee how you will conduct your interview. Tell them that you will use a recorder and introduce the discussion topic. Interview papers writing tips. The following writing tips will help you deliver the first-class interview paper. Write the introduction at the end. Once you finish your essay, you will likely reconsider some ideas you had before you began. They will help you frame your interview essay with a captivating introduction and conclusion. Give yourself a break after finishing your final draft. This will help you look at your paper with a fresh pair of eyes once you start editing. Edit one type of error at a time. For example, you can reduce logical errors first and switch to grammatical mistakes afterward. Use an active voice. If active voice makes your sentence shorter, use it without hesitation. Check for any sample interview paper to decide on the interview questions. Perhaps, some pieces will spark your interest. The title page must be noon. End of article. You always can get essay writing help with handmadewriting.com. Bye.